Before I begin, be sure to like the video and leave a comment on what you think of it. Also, be sure to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell to keep up with further audiobook readings. Chapter 5 Finding Money to Fund Your Bank Now, you may be wondering, where do I find the money to fund this incredible cash flow insurance strategy? After all, John D. Rockefeller made a fortune that he could leave behind. It all comes down to managing your money. When you understand how your money is flowing, you can create a mindful cash management plan. Some people call this a budget, but we prefer to call it a spending plan because that focuses on expansion rather than restriction. We are taught that all expenses are negative, that they all need to be restricted, but in fact, not all expenses are created equal. Expenses fall into four main categories. Destructive expenses, which are vices and weaknesses like drugs and gambling, but also expenses like overdraft fees or any expenses that have a negative effect on your life that push you toward poverty or debt rather than prosperity. Consumptive or lifestyle expenses, such as going on vacation or buying a flat screen TV, are expenses that are fun and build memories, but that don't build income or assets. They're expenses that are just for enjoyment. We recommend always using cash for these expenses. It's important not to cut these expenses out. People are taught to wait until retirement to spend any of their hard-earned money, and that only in retirement can you really enjoy life. That's why there are so many miserable millionaires. If you never spend any money, you won't be fulfilled. You won't have these enjoyable experiences. These expenses are good expenses, as long as they're managed properly. Protective expenses, which are used to protect your property and human life value, including your mindset and happiness. This is the area that most often gets overlooked. Protective expenses include your liquid savings, which should be enough to cover a minimum of six months' expenses. These savings won't be overly productive in terms of earning interest, but they will be there to protect you and prevent you from worrying about money every second. Other protective expenses include life insurance, disability insurance, medical insurance, auto insurance, and emergency preparedness. Productive expenses which are expenses that allow you to expand your cash flow, grow your business, and build assets. They might be investments into your business, like hiring a great employee. It might be an expense like education, whereby whole new worlds of opportunities are opened up for you. They are expenses where if you put a dollar into it, more than a dollar comes out the other side such as any investment that is an asset that creates cash flow and appreciates in value. These are expenses that are going to enhance your life now and in the future, not something that will dissipate like a consumptive expense or something that will lead toward poverty like a destructive expense. These are expenses that lead towards profits and prosperity. We have both used our cash flow insurance policies to pay for additional coaching, mentoring, and marketing to expand our current businesses. The goal with a cash flow insurance system is to manage these four types of expenses, such that you eliminate your destructive expenses, manage your consumptive and protective expenses, and increase your productive expenses. When managing your finances, you have to make sure that you're investing in yourself before you start investing in things outside of yourself. Before you start handing your money over to retirement planners, even before you start sending your money into your retirement account, make sure that you have built your financial structure from the ground up. Think of your finances as a three-level pyramid. Level one, the base level, 
is guarding against uncertainty. This is the area that includes your minimum of six months liquid savings, your life insurance, your estate plan, and your emergency preparedness. Without this foundation, all of your investments are at risk with any financial surprise or issue. Make sure you build level one before moving on to anything else in order to avoid being derailed or risking the loss of everything you have worked so hard for. Make sure that your foundation is secure and that it can't be confiscated or lost through some unexpected circumstance or surprise. Level two, the middle level, is building your wealth creation system. If you have funded all of level one, then it's time to figure out what to do with the rest of your money. Where can you put that money so that it will flow most effectively? What is the best way to preserve money for you? The best way to automatically build wealth is with an infrastructure and system. And finally, level three, the top level is advanced investment planning, including discovering your investor DNA, asset protection, legacy plans, and other growth strategies. Part of managing your expenses and stopping leaks is to restructure your loans and manage your cash flow. For this, you can use a tool called the Cash Flow Index, which is a system to help you identify the most efficient way to pay off your loans. You can find your index by taking the balance of your loan and dividing it by the minimum payment. If your index is a low number, then it is not an efficient loan. It is a cash hog that requires a high payment relative to the balance. A higher number, on the other hand, indicates a more efficient loan. When you find yourself with extra money that you want to put toward paying off a loan, don't just pick randomly which loan to put that money toward. Pay the extra money toward a loan with a low index, an inefficient loan. Paying off a loan with a low index has the potential to free up much more money, which could mean building savings faster, creating more liquidity, providing more peace of mind, reducing forced payments, and even improving credit scores which could improve interest rates on other loans. Moreover, the money you save monthly by paying off an efficient low index loan can then be used to pay off other loans more quickly. You may even delay paying anything extra to these loans initially. Instead, you can put the money into your cash flow insurance system and then pay the loan off in full when there's enough cash in your plan. This not only saves you money, but also can create more wealth in the future as you build up liquidity, earn interest, and gain the benefits of cash flow insurance. When you are restructuring loans, look at refinancing to a lower interest rate or to a longer amortization term so that the loan will be more cash flow efficient. You can also manage and restructure your loans so that your loan interest is tax deductible, like with mortgages. If you restructure a 15-year mortgage into a 30-year fixed rate mortgage, you can improve your cash flow because the payment is lower today and the tax benefits of paying interest for a longer period of time could amount to hundreds of thousands of dollars in tax savings over time. On one hand, you're getting tax deductions on interest, and on the other hand, you're earning tax preferred inside of a cash flow insurance policy. You can even take the money out against the policy and pay off your home if 15 years was really your objective. Putting your financial house in order also means creating the proper account structure. Ideally, you want to set up three types of accounts. One, peace of mind account, an account truly dedicated to providing staying power in times of tough cash flow. This account provides risk reduction and creates additional liquidity, enabling you to have money to handle unexpected surprises. It is essential that this account is completely separate from your checking account. 
This could be a savings account like those available through ING Direct and Ally Bank. The target should be to have a minimum of six months worth of savings total. We would recommend having four of those months in a savings account. Yes, two months of this can be in your cash flow insurance policy, one month in cash, and one month in coins or precious metals. That way, even if you run into a situation like identity theft where your accounts get frozen, you still have access to money to take care of your family until you can get back into your savings account. 2. Wealth Creation Account An account focused on growing cash flow and improving the efficiency of your loans. Cash flow insurance is the best structure for a wealth creation account and can be deducted directly from your peace of mind account. Your wealth creation account can contain at least one month's worth of living expenses at all times and is used for productive expenses like continuing education, paying off loans, and funding your cash flow insurance. 3. Living Wealthy Account An account that creates structure around preparing for events like travel and vacations. This is the account that holds the cash for your consumptive expenses. The target should be to start with 3% of your monthly take-home pay into this account, money that can then be used for guilt-free spending. Finally, there is a bonus account, a charitable giving account, which allows you to set aside money for charity and for organizations and causes you believe in and to support groups or activities that matter to you. There's a law in finance called Parkinson's Law, which states that any time you have an increase in income, if you don't have a plan for that extra money, it'll get eaten up in your living expenses. By setting up the right account structure, you can capture your wealth instead of having it commingled with your living expenses and gobbled up. One final element of putting your financial house in order, understanding your own money personality. There are five main money personality types. 1. Saver a saver is fantastic at building wealth and saving money for the future, but they tend to focus more on worry and live with a scarcity mentality. For a saver, it's all about what you don't or can't do rather than what you can do. If you're a saver, setting up a living wealthy account can help you allocate a portion of your income for guilt-free spending. 2. Spender the spender is the antithesis of the saver. A spender may have 5 or 10 credit cards and 10 or 12 other loans. A spender wants to enjoy life at all costs and has a tendency to overspend on consumptive expenses. Any money that comes in can flow out pretty quickly. If you're a spender, work to set aside at least 10% of your income into savings. You can still spend and enjoy life, but you will set yourself up for success by taking the first 10-15% to 15 and putting it away so that Parkinson's doesn't end up costing you too much. 3. Avoider An avoider is someone who signs checks and bills without even looking. Avoiders tend not to want to deal with money, ever. It's a source of frustration, so they just push it off. If you have that tendency, hire a bookkeeper or a coach or a mentor, or find a friend or spouse who can take on that role and hold you accountable. If this describes you, congratulations for reading this book and not avoiding the topic of finance and money. This is a great step to find a middle path and have a better relationship with money. 4. Giver A giver is someone who enjoys helping other people and giving to charitable organizations, but it can be to a fault. Givers often have internal belief systems that make them believe money to be corrupt or evil, 
or if they have too much money, other people don't have enough. A giver's strength is being generous and giving. Their weakness is giving too much and finding themselves in financial trouble. A proper structuring of accounts, including a charitable giving account, can help a giver manage their giving. 5. A Masser An amasser is someone who does things in extremes. An amasser loves to make a lot of money and loves to spend a lot of money, loves to save a lot, and loves to invest a lot. And if they can't do all of that every single month, it hurts their confidence. Amassers tend to think about money often. If you're an amasser, organizing your finances and understanding your cash flow can help ease your mind and keep you from being consumed with thinking about money. Create a second scorecard other than money. What makes you feel fulfilled? When do you feel best and what difference would you like to make in the world? By taking action in these areas without only considering how much money you will make, you can be a helpful amasser without having all of your self-confidence in your cash. You are your greatest asset. Protect yourself and your mindset. Make sure you feel good about your foundation and then you can be more productive. Cash flow insurance is not a get-rich-quick scheme. This is about sustainable wealth, lifelong wealth, getting rich right. It's not an investment that's going to double or triple your net worth in a year or two. It's a system for building lifelong wealth with a rock-solid foundation upon which you can build your overall financial architecture. It provides a safe, steady, and consistent way to grow your wealth and with that stable financial foundation, you can stretch your wings and swing for the fences in your unique areas of knowledge and interest. Financially successful people have the ability to grab hold of opportunities when they come along. Utilizing cash flow insurance allows you to do this, as opposed to having to sit and watch opportunities fly by because you don't have the financial means to take advantage of the situation. It's such a powerful building block that between the two of us, we personally have 23 different active cash flow insurance policies. Many investments require a substantial amount of time to make them productive. Real estate, for example, is never passive. But with a cash flow insurance system, once you implement the system, you can build wealth a little more on autopilot. You still monitor it and manage it to a certain degree, especially when utilizing it to make purchases and pay yourself back the interest. But for the most part, if it's set up properly, cash flow insurance works on its own. Regardless of your income, your goals for the future, or the cash flow restraints you may have today, if your cash flow insurance system is set up properly and your financial foundation is well designed, Cash flow insurance can work for you. Whether you're putting in a hundred dollars a month or ten thousand dollars a month, a system can be designed to work for you. Even if you're living paycheck to paycheck and don't feel like you have any additional money left over, as long as you have some income, cash flow insurance can still work for you. Even if you have a medical issue that makes you ineligible for life insurance, you can set up a cash flow insurance policy on someone with whom you have an insurable interest or direct relation. A parent, a child, a sibling, a spouse, or even a business partner. Cash flow insurance is perfect for you if you're married or plan on getting married, if you have children or plan on having children, or if you're starting a business or plan on starting a business. It can help you pay for your kids college, pay off loans, or finance your home or car. You can use it as a cash reserve for investing, as seed capital, or as your emergency fund. You can use it for short-term and long-term money management decisions. 
this can be the centerpiece for perpetuating a legacy with your trust and setting up a banking system for your family to capture interest for generations to come. Interest that would otherwise have been lost to financial institutions. That's why it is at the core of the Rockefeller method.